for any given town that we're going to, we get a little research package. We know who we're going to talk to. So then me and some of the writers try to write jokes before we even go. Okay. So we've got a handful of stuff there. Then we get into the town, and then we find out, well, this joke doesn't really Work. pertain the way we mm -hmm. thought, so we got, that's got to go. This one could be tweaked a little bit, and then, and then also something happened that we didn't expect, and we need to write a joke about that. So there is a lot of generating content on the fly and trying to... Uh, one of the most time-consuming things is everything you write... Keep in mind, I'm only there for five days, mm -hmm. and we're interviewing people, doing outings all day. And then in the nighttime, it's time to sit down and try to bang out the set. When people watch the show, the stand-up comedy will, will be, uh, you know, spliced in, maybe right. four or five minutes of it. But do, performing it for the town, it's got to work as a cohesive 45-minute comedy set. So yeah. it's, it's uh, it is, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's some heavy lifting. Um, I just wanted to mention before we go any further that uh, Still Standing, the first episode, episode one, yes. which was uh, filmed in Banfield, B.C., yeah airs tomorrow night yeah. at 9.30 p.m. Yes. So, and this is on CBC. Yes. Right? So, uh, that gives you an idea. And how many have you done? Uh, season one, th there will be 13. So <gasps> oh, wow, it, that's it, fun. it starts tomorrow night uh, with Banfield, British Columbia. Then the week after, uh, another great episode in... Um, Coleman, Alberta. Then I think we get preempted twice for the Pan Am Games, but oh, then yes. the rest of the season will be uh, Tuesday nights uh, at nine thirty. Were you scared? I was. Yeah, I, sure. I mean, I mean, uh, I think like any stand-up comedian, I can become a bit uh, anxious, a bit nervous. Um, but the crowds have been so good; mm -hmm. they really set me at ease. I find with all the and obviously. I'm not. I'm not writing anything sort of mean spirited or malicious. Right. You, you like to make a few digs every now and then. It, it's comparable to a wedding speech. In fact, it's a lot like a wedding speech because everybody knows yeah. everybody else. So if I if I'm gonna make a joke about um, you know Martha at the goat farm, it. it <laughs> <laughs> at the goat farm. Do you know what I mean? No, no I don't. I don't know a Martha at the when goat farm. You Click the channel subscribe button for full-length interviews and more from what she said here on YouTube.